everyone, this is Natasha. I wanted to share with you my Wild Rocket Crafts Design Team supply package. But first, I wanted to show you how well packed the items arrived. This is what my package was wrapped in. This much bubble wrap. And I just put this on here so the camera would focus. Otherwise, it would be a lot of reflection. Then there was also another bunch of bubble wrap which I all reuse. I save and reuse. So here's my supply box. What I did is I restocked on some of the items that I was either had used up entirely or were near the end and I knew I would use again and then I picked up a few new things. So let me show you the stuff that I got that were refills. So I picked up, oh, looks like all packs of pearls. This one's uh, mixed green in the three millimeter. There you go, mixed green in three millimeter. Brown in three millimeter. And I love these, these are very, very vintage looking. And these are five millimeter in the brown. And they're all self-adhesive. Now this is a very color departure for me. It's spice and it comes in this orange, peach, and deep cream. They're all five millimeters. And these two are set A and B in the various pinks. As you can see, there's no duplicates. So there's slightly different shades of pink in each one. And they're 60 in each pack. So that was the, rind the pearls. Then new to me, and relatively new to the store, are the white pearl string of four millimeter flatback pearls. I've never worked with flatback pearls before. Those of you who have seen my work. So I thought I would try these. And these could be colored up with alcohol markers, alcohol ink, and it's 2.2 um, .2 yards. Nice amount to work with. And I also picked that same thing up in the ivory. And I also picked up the six millimeter versions. The, it's also in 2.2 .2 yards in the ivory and in the white. And I was really curious to see how flexible they are. Because I have an idea what to do with these but never having felt them oh they're 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 very flexible wow that's good to know see i didn't know because sometimes when flag back pearls are on something that attaches them you just never really know how much flexibility they have and these are very very flexible so i think my idea might work and i'll share that with you in one of my upcoming videos and I picked up two more of the small organza trim in lime green and in my new favorite turquoise. Both very pretty. Love this green. And let me just show you the green. It's such a dainty rosette. Look how pretty that is. It's on a mesh back. You can either leave it on, trim it down. I kind of like that look left on. So the, that's in the green. And I also picked up um, 10 millimeter metallic silver ribbon. It's 27 and a half yards or 25 meters. So you, there's lots that you could do with this. And because so often my projects have silver or black in them, I thought this would be a nice addition. So I got that in silver. And then I picked up a um, 10 pack of white heather stems. And these are a great flower to just literally dip into any of your you know, glitter mediums. This is Lindy's, but all you have to do is hold the flower by the stem and just dip it in. And mulberry paper takes on colors beautifully. It's much sturdier than you would think. It's quite hardy. <laughs> Then I also picked up this, and this is really cool. It's 99 yards 
of silver metallic cord. It's also available in gold, but as many of you know, I'm really more of a silver kind of girl. But I thought I could try something uh, like crocheting with this. So I'm going to give it a try. Plus this is nice to have something if you need a little bit of a um, full metal element. And then I picked up two of the Guy Pierre lace in black and in white because that's what I'm going to use for my June design team challenge to use a product that you haven't in a while and I have neglected the laces that I need to give them some more attention. And then thanks to Sarah for reminding me that I wanted to pick up the filigree corners and I got the uh, 10 pack of the small, I got the uh, 10 pack of the regular and the large. Actually, how does that go? Yeah, I think they're in three sizes. So I picked up all three of them and I got a nifty gifty in this beautiful cream and lavender petal. So let me just move this aside and I wanted to share with you one more thing. I get a lot of questions how I store all of these supplies. Um, I might have shown already that my pearls are stored in a Ziploc bag. I kind of know where everything is and then I know what I'm running low on and I add it to a little list that I keep of what I need to add to my next design team package if I need, have a particular project in mind. So that's how I store my uh, pearls. But things like this, I store in these little drawers which fit into um, it's a hardware case and I, I might have to highlight this separately but this is how I store my metal embellishments so I thought I'd show you since I got a little drawer ready and all I do is put a little corrugated piece of cardboard in between so I can put in two different things so for example this corners And then I'll just peel off the label or cut it off and place it on the front. And then whatever is going to go in back, I'll place that on the little divide. So this way, and this way I can show you the actual corners too close, right? These are fabulous. And they're pliable enough where you can bend them. So let me show you how easy that is. You see that? I wouldn't do that too many times because it'll break off, but they're pliable enough where you can you know, uh, mold them around whatever um, object you need to or you'd like to. So I think I'll keep the medium and the small in this particular container. So there I have, there's the small. And they would look great layered too for dimension. So there you go. That's my design team supply package for Wild Orchid Crafts for June. I can't wait to start uh, playing. I'm on vacation this week, so I might even get a chance to play on Ustream. And if I do, I'll post a message. And don't forget the diamond jubilee sale is on until the end of june 6th so you still have uh, a day and a half uh, two days to shop and save an additional 10 percent off of your orders um, and i think that's exactly when i ordered my um, corners because i really wanted to um, replenish my supply and get a discount at the same time so if you have any questions for me please leave me a message otherwise i'll include a link to the online shop as well as the wild orca crafts youtube channel and facebook page don't forget to stop by the youtube channel to find out what other design team members are creating and as we speak there's only just a little over 24 hours left for the design team open call and we're thrilled with the responses we're getting. And for those of you who are still on the fence, you still have time. All you need to do is create a video highlighting a project or projects that you've created using Wild Orca Crafts products, um, highlighting your particular design style, and then post it as a video response. Any questions, leave me a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.